Now for a special guest to Inside Netball, making her debut. We have been very excited. Former Silver Fern captain Laura Langman joins us now from Australia. Kia ora, kia ora Laura, and thank you for joining us. Morena, how's everyone? We are very good, thank you, Laura. We're going to ask the same question of you. How have you been? Where have you been? <laughs> How is life going? <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, so I'm over in the sunny coast. Um, we've kind of moved here now uh, and settled in, which is nice. Um, but we're very excited. We've booked tickets to come back home. So it's probably been about two years since we've been home, two and a bit years. So I'm um, super pumped to be um, flying back to the um, motherland um, in July. So, yeah, we're really excited. Laws, I couldn't think of more apt words that are behind you. Focused, resilient and determined. I mean, they pretty much sum you up. So you've positioned oh. yourself well. And I also feel like I need to jump through the camera and give you a big hug because it has been so long. What have you been up to? Obviously, not so much netball playing yourself. But when I look at your little Instagram, you've been pretty busy. <laughs> triathlons, a few different things that you're trying your hand at. Yeah, I think um, I was really lucky when I finished up. Um, I can't even remember what year it was, but it feels like a lifetime ago now. Um, it, I kind of was lucky that my body was still in a position that um, I could uh, do a bit of adventure racing. So a friend and I signed up to uh, half um, last year, half Ironman. Um, I'm still probably struggling with the PCSC from the training, but uh, that was a massive challenge. Um, and then I've really kind of tried to dive into um, a net fit over here um, and a digital platform now that's available in New Zealand. So that's definitely kept me busy when um, I'm not at the old nine to five. Last time I think I saw you, Laura, was at the, the Halbergs of 2020. You were holding so many trophies. It was sort of, you know, <laughs> you had your hands on. <laughs> She's got the guns for it. Well, <laughs> that's right. But tell me, um, that's what, two years ago now. I mean, how much does netball feature in, in your everyday? I mean, do you watch the game? Um, oh, look, I um, I really enjoy those highlight reels that um, get spun off. So thank you, Sky Sport, for that. Um, <laughs> I, I, I must admit, I don't religiously sit down um, with my cup of tea and watch it. Um, my involvement's kind of, I'm dabbling in a little bit of coaching. Um, I was helping out a friend um, this year, so... Uh, good luck to those girls. <laughs> um, and then, obviously, uh, net fit, like grassroots, um, just getting resources accessible to players, um, umpires, anyone who's passionate in netball, I think. Um, as you know, uh, the cyber world is taking over and um, getting active and, and keeping people in our sport. Um, it's really competitive. And so I've really jumped on board with NetFit to uh, try and make that possible for as many people as we can in New Zealand and across here. Talk to us a little bit more about that, Laura, because NetFit, from what I can see, is a program that inspires and, you know, recognises those who want to take part in netball, not even to play, you know, at a level that you once did, but just to participate, stay healthy, etc., etc. You know, compared to the types of programmes that you would have come across over your years in finding netball, how have you found the programme so far? Um, yeah, like, what I like about it is... It's exactly um, that. What we try to replicate in New Zealand is game day intensity, whether it's your game day or your training for a traditional game day on a Saturday or a Monday or whenever they play now. Um, we really wanted to pretty much bring netball to everybody, um, whether you're a mum, uncle, brother, sister, um, competitive player or not. We wanted to bring variety and we wanted to make the resource accessible to everybody. Um, and Annette does that. Um, obviously, it still comes down to a bit of self-motivation in terms of like logging on, watching the videos, downloading the scorecard for the recent challenge and submitting your score. So there's still a bit of self-motivation that's involved, but essentially it's uh, a scroll away um, and it's right at your fingertips. Uh, I'm a massive uh, workout in the garage type of person these days. Um, and if I can get 15 minutes um, I just go hard and I think it's really relative to our game um, and it was certainly a strategy I thought that worked very well for us in the 2019 World Cup um, in the round robin play. Um, 
instead of kind of playing our half games that we we're kind of used to, where you'd know you're on for a half and then you can kick back in the second half, um, you might have been on in the first, you might have been on the last, and you had 15 minutes to make a difference. So uh, some of the workouts are 15 minutes long, and, it, and it's about getting bang for your buck. Now, Laws, number of players, when they transition from playing netball to retirement from the game, find that transition really hard. You seem to have done it pretty smoothly so far. Is that all a facade? Is it, has it been easy or have you found it quite challenging? Um, oh, look, I think definitely my um, little micro break in uh, 2018. <laughs> I can't even remember the years. Um, probably gave me a little a bit of an insight as to what it would be like. Um, look, Honestly, hand on heart, it's not that bad on the other side, peeps. <laughs> um, I had a fabulous time um, in the black dress, in, um, in the magic dress, in the mystics dress, in the Swiss dress, in the lightning dress. I had the best time and I learned so much. I think um, if you can walk out of the game with your original knees and a body that's still willing to give, man, there's lots of exciting things and other sports out there for you to give a go. Um, yeah, so look, it's it's not bad and, and, and I love it and I must say I love having my weekends like it's really underestimated <laughs> having a Saturday and a Sunday <laughs> now you've stayed in lightning country so I mean do you still get recognized when you wander around the around the city oh goodness no 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 um there's lots of um fabulous up and comers um around the coast here and it's becoming a wee bit of a sporting hub um with the Kiwana Stadium and the league getting played more regularly here. So, no, I, Jenny, I can officially say I'm a has been. <laughs> <laughs> well, wait till you get club. over here in July. Join the club. <laughs> <laughs> it might not be the case when you get back to New Zealand in July, Laura. You touched on uh, a bit that you've been working a bit on coaching. Is that uh, an avenue that you want to take uh, later on? Uh, look, it was never in my, um, something I really wanted to do. Um, the opportunity came up for a friend. They were looking for a coach and I don't know. I thought it was one of those things I need to find out whether I want to be in that space or not. Um, I'd obviously done a lot of grassroots. Um, I've, we've done, we did a really successful net fit tour this year over up in Noosa and um, and so I thought, oh, why don't we give it a go with, um, I call them the big girls, uh, whereas they um, decide themselves that they're um, signing up. They've got independence in terms of licences, so um, I can um, tell them to meet here, there and everywhere. So, look, I'm dabbling. Um, I'm not sure. I, I, we've only just done trials and I struggled um, having to tell people, sorry, <laughs> I don't have enough room for you. So um, that's only the first hurdle. So I'm not really sure how I'm going to go. I, I'm probably as nervous as the team is. But, um, yeah, I, I guess it was something I, I need to find out whether it's a space that I want to go into. You look so happy, Laws. Have we lost you to Australia forever? I'm a little bit worried. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I. you always come home. <laughs> Oh, pleased to hear it. I just want to take you back. You know, you were talking about those 15-minute net fit segments that Thanks you do in the button. garage. <laughs> do, you, do you need gear for that? Or, like, when I say gear, equipment? Or do you just, you know? Oh, look, I have the bare minimum. Look, I've been nagging um, my other half. Can we get a um, decent gym in the garage? And he's like, no. <laughs> um, so I had literally have my two dumbbells, um, and a skipping rope, and that's pretty much it. On, um, I have a little 400 metre track that I use. Um, oh, and I've got a, a salt bike, which is extremely handy. So I literally just, um, man, I think thrusters is a go-to for me all the time with my dumbbells. But um, yeah, I have very minimal equipment and I just make it work. I find um, workouts and then I just change it for what I have. So um, yeah. It's, I honestly love it. I love it. It's good fun. Before we let you go, Laura, I just wanted to ask you, I know that uh, you were an inspiration and a mentor to, to many netballers at the elite level. I'm wondering if they're still hitting you up and asking you for any advice if they need it. Oh, gosh, no. I think, um, no, that 
hundred percent know what they're doing. Uh, and yeah, I think when you kind of get out of the game, you do lose touch a little bit. But look, I'm always up for a yarn. Um, I spend a little bit of time with the um, captains of the ANZ teams last year um and that was pretty cool just having conversations and although it the environments do shift in a way they don't um and it's often still the same issues that kind of uh really heads or not issues but challenges um so it was cool to somewhat um be involved uh I, and i thought it was really special the journey that the mystics had last year to their um premiership um uh, and I just could not think of uh, a more deserving team. Sulu and the leadership group um, worked very, very hard. Um, and it was, yeah, I think it was special for them. I was really proud, even though I had nothing to do with it. But I thought it was very cool. <laughs> nice one, Laura. Well, all the best. And hopefully w people might see you out and about here back in Aotearoa in July. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me.